guys welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be all about the tiktok dip powder method and i went ahead and cut off my nails because i know that this method is best on short nails just to show you guys this method and to try it out for myself so i'm super excited today i'm going to be using a super fun thermal dip from all powdered up it's called i can't pink straight it is a super super fun pink color with a bunch of shimmer in it so let's go ahead and get this beauty open so you guys can see what she looks like and here she is in all of her glory you can tell that there are a ton of shimmers in it so i'm super excited to use this let's go ahead and get started so I'm gonna start out with my base coat from Virgo and Gem. I have just started using these liquids and I have to say I am absolutely obsessed with them. They are really great at being a really thin layer on your nails. So to start this method out, basically what you do is for the very first layer, you're going to do a full layer on your nail, very thin, um, it should be from the bottom of your cuticle all the way up to your nail so you're just kind of coating your nails like you typically would with one coat all over the nail i'm going to go ahead and speed this part up a little bit since i'm just doing one coat across all of my nails Okay, so now I have got one layer on all of my nails and I'm gonna go ahead and brush off the extra dip powder and come back and show you guys what it should look like at this step. All right, so this is what I have after one coat of dip powder. So for this next step, this is really where the method starts. I'm not going to coat my entire nail with the dip base. What I'm gonna do is basically go halfway down my nail and just do a strip from the top of my nail down to about halfway. And I'm gonna be avoiding the edges of the outside, basically around my cuticle area. So let's go ahead and grab our dip base and start. I'm just gonna take a really thin layer again like I did on the first coat just because I want to be able to build my dip powder on top of um, each coat and basically I'm just taking my dip base and doing that strip down the nail. So this is what it looks like. I'll do this again just so you can kind of take a look. So I'm taking my dip base again and doing a strip down to about half of my nail. It's probably a little bit more than half of my nail. And I'm gonna go ahead and repeat this step and speed this up just on the remainder of my nails. So this is what I've got after brushing off the extra powder. You can kind of see the outline of where we just put the second coat of dip. Um, for this next step, really what I'm going to be doing is basically doing what we just did, but 
going down between the layer that we just did and the cuticle about halfway. So I'm not going to go all the way down to the bottom of the cuticle, but I'm going halfway between that line that we just did all the way around the nail and the cuticle, if that makes sense. So let's go ahead and just jump in so I can show you guys what I mean. So I'm grabbing my dip base again, getting a really small amount on my brush, and I'm going in for my third layer. You can see that I'm leaving a really thin line around my cuticle that I'm not putting dip over. So I'm not putting it fully on the nail, but I'm putting the uh, base coat over most of the nail so you can kind of see what I've coated here and then I've really left a line all the way around the nail. Let's do one more nail. So I'm grabbing my dip base again and repeating the step, basically just covering my nail with dip base, but I'm leaving a thin line around my cuticle area that I'm not covering with the base liquid. I'm going to speed up the rest of this so we can get to our next step. I've brushed off the extra powder and this is what my nails look like at this point. So I'm going to go ahead and start on my last coat of dip powder. I'm gonna go ahead and take my base coat and coat over the whole nail. So this last step will be coating over the whole nail just like our first step was. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my base and do a really thin layer across my whole nail, making sure that I stay away from my cuticles just so I don't flood them. This is our last step with our base coat, so I'm going to go ahead and speed this up so you guys can watch as I finish out this last layer of dip powder. So I finished out my base coat layer and I brushed off all of the extra powder and I'm about to go in with my activator but this is what my nails look like before activating. One of the reasons why I've really liked the Virgo and Gem liquids is because it allows my layers of dip to stay so thin and so smooth to where I don't have a ton of bumps before filing. I'm going in with my activator and I think this is my favorite part, but I absolutely love seeing the fun color change of this gorgeous dip from All Powdered Up. I absolutely love thermal dips. They're just so fun, especially when you're doing a one color mani to get 
basically a couple manis out of just one. So I'm gonna be very generous with my activator. I always am. I'm just gonna activate each nail. And then I'm going to, once I finish this up, let the activator dry for uh, a couple of minutes before I go and start filing. I'm gonna go ahead and start filing. I personally use the curved nail file from, it's a brand called Beauty Secrets. I buy them at Sally's for really cheap. I'm just gonna go around my nail and make sure that I have the shape that I want before filing the top of my nail. This is the shape that I have after filing the first four fingers and I'm gonna go ahead and file my thumb here really quick. This is my desired shape, so I'm moving on to the next stage in my filing process where I use a buffing block. So I get these buffing blocks on Amazon. What I really like about them is there's two different grits. This first side of the buffing block has a really coarse grit, so it allows me to file my nails and kind of get everything super even which I really appreciate. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my process for filing the tops of my nails with just my thumb, and then I'll repeat it off screen with the rest of my nails. Now that I've finished with the coarse side of the buffing block, I'm flipping it over to use the fine side of the buffing block to get a really smooth finish that I can put my dip top coat over. I finished filing the rest of my nails and this is what it looks like. Now I'm going to go in with my last coat of activator and after I finish my last coat of activator, I'm going to let it dry for a few minutes and then I'm going to go wash my hands with just water. After I washed my hands, I made sure to wipe each nail off really well with a paper towel so they were prepped and ready for me to go in with my top coat. Grabbing my top coat, this is where we're going to kind of put the final layers on this mani. I'm grabbing a really thin layer of top coat and the goal of this coat is to just quickly get the nail covered. Uh, so I quickly do this as, as fast as I can and I repeat that on all of the nails. Once I finish that, I'm gonna let my nails dry for a couple of minutes before going in with my second coat. I'm super impressed with the shine after just one coat, so that's why I really love this top coat. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and start on the second layer of top coat. This one you can be a little bit slower on and take your time. That first one you're really just trying to get it down as quickly as you can. This one you can kind of take your time um, with getting it on the nail and just make sure that it's really even because this is the coat that uh, you're really going to see on your nails when it's done. So this is what my nails look like after that second coat. They're super shiny and you know I couldn't go through this video without showing you what the nails look like after putting them in ice cold water. I absolutely love this thermal. It is so, so fun 
and the very last step it's always last but it's definitely not least cuticle care so this is one of my favorite new products that candy skincare just came out with it is their body butter what i really really like about this and i use it as a cuticle balm is it's not wax based so it's a butter based balm that you can use and what that really does is wax kind of sits on top of your skin and this butter allows all of the moisture and the goodness that's in this product to sink right into your skin so i always like to finish off my nails with coating each one of my fingers with this product so that's what i'm gonna do really quickly And that is the TikTok method. Thank you guys so much for dropping in and hanging out with me just for a little bit. I would absolutely love for you to come back. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so you can know when I post my next video. Until next time, see you guys later. Bye.